this tutorial, we look at how to connect uh, a joystick that's in the LMU box. And it's a joystick that has two axis analog input and one switch. And I switch to the other camera to get a closer look at what uh, we have there. So let's set this here. So, so. So now we see here, this is uh, the joystick module and uh, I lift it up. We can see it has five connections. Uh, They're hard to see here uh, and I'll take the head off in a sec. So we see there are two potentiometers on the side and there is one switch uh, where we can press down. Okay, so uh, let's have a quick look. I've taken uh, the head off. Now we see a bit better what's on there. So there is ground, there is five ball, there is X and there is Y and there is something called SW, which is the switch. And now we can see if we look closer, we can see the switch, which is underneath here. And we can also see the two potentiometers for both axes. And if you see, if you move it here, it turns one. And if we move it the other way, it moves the other way. And if we press down, we press the switch. Okay, with this we have the basic function of this uh, joystick. So it has two axes, analog input and one axis uh, and one uh, button. So let's go back to uh, building up the circuit. So what we do now first is we connect ground. So I take the black cable and put this to ground on the chip. I take the red cable and put this to 3.3 volt. It says 5 volt here. This is assuming that we would use 5 volts as the main voltage. But as we use 3.3, we get a value between 0 and 3.3 volts with the analog inputs. So if we put it to 5 volts, we would potentially break our inputs. And now I take two more cables. I take one, the uh, orange one for X and uh, the yellow one for Y. Now the question is, where do I connect them on the microcontroller? So we need two analog inputs. And last time we, uh, when we looked at analog, we used analog pin 34, but let's have a look what pins we can use. So, if you look here, uh, there are a number of analog inputs and uh, we see here there is one analog input and another one. So we can just use pin 34 and pin 35. So I connect the uh, Y, uh, X to 34. This is the orange one. And I connect Y to 35. That's the yellow one. Now, what do we have missing? We miss still an analog and uh, a digital input. And this is sort of the last one. So I connect our digital input. Uh, now I have it here. And now the question is to which pin do we connect it? And last time when we worked with the analog input, we used pin 26. So I'm going to use pin 26 here. So I have it now fully connected. And uh, I take again the other camera to show how uh, we have connected it. So what we see here now is I have all the cables uh, connected. So black, red to give it power, and then uh, X and Y, this is orange and yellow, and then the switch is green. And I have connected them here uh, to the microcontroller as you see, sort of, and the important part to remember is uh, it even says 5 volt on here, but we are not connecting it to 5 volt, we connect it to 3.3 .3 because that's our main voltage and uh, the 5 volt assumes you're using an Arduino uh, which has the 5 volts. 
So with this, I'm uh, switching back uh, to our programming environment. So one more thing I do, I put uh, again sort of this nice head on that we can e more easily use it. Uh, okay, now we need to write some code. We have now pin 34, pin 35, which we use as analog input, and pin 26 as uh, the digital input. So let's copy out the code we use from the analog input. And let's go to our... Uh, so first what I do, I connect. Uh, or let's first write some code and then uh, connect it. So I'm, this is our example code for reading in pin 34. And uh, what we say is uh, we have 34 and 35. So we need two and I call this one X. And then I do another one, which I call Y. And why uh, we said is pin 35. So this is the pins I connected it to. And we want to have both where we have the full range of 0 to 4000. And that's why I do this for both pins, the attenuation. Uh, and so now we have the digital pin which is left. And uh, so let's have a quick look how we connect the digital pin. So here we have the quick reference. So what we have, we uh, say, okay, we need to import pin. We have this already. And now we say uh, pin is an input. That's what we do here. And we use even a pull up because we don't really know if there is a resistor. So I just copied this piece of code uh, over. So we are going to use this one, but we use a different pin. So what I have here, I use Sort of I call it SW, that's our switch. And we have connected it to pin 26. And it's an input pin and we use the internal pull-up resistor so uh, we are sure it always has a value. And now what we do we need? We need to print all the things out. So I read all the analog values, which is two. So I say analog value X. And uh, the same for Y. Now I lost the camera. So I have the analog X, analog Y. So those are the two values. And uh, then I can delete this one. And now I can print the X value and I can print the Y value. And now what's missing is to read in the digital pin and let's have a look here. So how do we read this? So we just print out and I copy this over and we just change it to what we have. So I print uh, from our switch. Okay, so uh, now let me connect uh, the the board and so we have the board physically connected. Uh, it's COM4 so I connect it and now I just uh, I store this under joystick 01 so just that we have it later and yes and now let's see what happens if we run it. So what we see is we get two values. They're very much in the center. So 4,000 is max. So if I go now all the way to the left upper corner, I get zero, zero. It's always the first two values it prints. And if I go to the other corner, I get 4,000, 4,000. And if I press my switch, I get a zero. Now we cannot really see this very nicely. So there are different ways of printing it nicer in, uh, in in Python and let's have a look here. So printing in Python, there are a way, there are different ways to do it. So I think that the simple way is is this one. I just copy this over to show. So instead of having the three print statements, what we do is uh, we print something like we say X, and then we say. Uh, Y and then we say 
uh, SW, and now we need to hand over the values analog well x, analog y well, analog uh, value y, and here we hand over SW, and let's just put And then we just comment these values out and uh, or these commands. And now let's see what happens if we save it and run it. And now what we see is we see the values. If I'm now, so you can see if I'm going up, I have zero. If I'm in the middle, Uh, and what we see, uh, we have still one error, it says pin 26, which is obviously not what we want. We want to have here the value, so it's SW value, and let's uh, save and start again. So what we see, if I press now the button, we are at zero. If I release it, we are at one. If I'm going to the left lower corner, I have 4,000, 4,000. If I go to the right upper corner, I have 0, 0. If I stay in the middle in Y, I can go up to uh, in X and go up in Y, I get Y 0. And I go down, I get Y the full value. And if I stay in the middle, but go left, right, I have the max value of X and the max value of Y. So with this, we have now uh, a joystick and we have all the functions uh, of the joystick connected.